Okay. I guess I'm going to make a tutorial about how to path dolphin. So first thing you're going to need to do is go to uh, dolphinmu.org. Make sure it's the correct dolphin site. There's another site, but it's not the right site. Typically for tasking, you'll want to use the most recent build of Dolphin. So go to um, the download pages and development versions. These are, while it says that they're not very stable, they usually are pretty stable. Basically, you don't want to use the original Dolphin 4.0 release because that had some issues that made tasking impossible or something along those lines. So after you download Dolphin, you can boot it up and it'll go to this screen. Uh, just to make this tutorial a bit easier, I'll show... Um, basically, you want to set your default directory for your GameCube ISOs. And so, just navigate to that directory. For me, it's my random folder, Dolphins ISOs. It'll scan the directory for all of your games and eventually add them all. And so you'll have your list of games. This is the version of Wind Waker I'm going to be using for this. Japanese version, I can tell it's the right one because it's 1.4 gigabytes, which is typically the default size for a GameCube ISO. There are some default settings that you'll need to set if you want to task and have it sync. Under the config uh, options, you want to disable dual core and idle skipping. You can enable cheats, but um, it won't make me like a valid task for task videos or whatever, but if you want to make a short task and like just start with some cheats, then sure, you can use that. Under audio, you want to use DSP LLE. For that, um, whenever I try to boot it up, it says fail to load DSP ROM. That's because I need to have the correct um, ROM which they can't distribute with Dolphin. So I have um, the files here which I could put in the description of this. But you want to put them in dolphin slash users slash g or user slash gc dsp uh, co and coef dot bin and dsp rom dot bin. And that'll fix that error. You can't distribute it with dolphin because of legal issues. And so under graphics, you want to avoid direct 3D9 because it's pretty bad. It was removed in Dolphin 4.0, I believe, maybe Dolphin 3.5, actually. I typically use Direct3D11 for tasking, and then whenever I render, I use OpenGL. So let's just go to Direct3D11. In order to keep the emulator running pretty fast, you want to keep these in the lowest settings. I would um, typically have scaled EFB copy on, just because it makes it look a lot better. Normal format changes is okay. You want to have EFB copies on RAM, the slider about halfway there. Um, and really, most of these don't really affect the sync, from what I understand. You can use your graphics card, whichever one you choose. So this should be all set up correctly to sync with Dolphin. So to start tasking, you want to click on the emulator, or click on the ISO, rather, hit emulation, and start recording. You can readjust this window, whatever size you want. But whenever you are uh, dumping the frames, you do not want to resize the window. But I'll go over that in a minute. Oh, wow. Let's see. It's going to run at a decent speed for me right now. Yeah, okay. So right now it's recording on my inputs. So let me just make something real quick. Very short task. And so whenever you want to stop recording your task, you can just X out of the window, and it will allow you to select the recording file. So let's just do tutorial.dtm, which is the file format for Dolphin recordings. Okay, uh, and the, also, I didn't go over this earlier, but you can turn down the volume in the audio section. 
Maybe I should have done that earlier because it was quite loud, but too late now. So then in order to, whenever you want to play back your tasks, you want to click on the game again, emulation, play recording, and select the file. And it'll play it back. But this is going to bring up a, a one issue that's, that uh, occurs in older versions of Dolphin. It's because um, whenever you make the recording, it on older versions of Dolphins, it does not delete the save file you make. And so, see, it's going to desync because it didn't delete the original save file. So in order to, let me turn the volume down a little bit more. In order to delete that, you go to Tools, Memory Card, Browse, and then it'll typically default to the directory where your memory cards are. Since it's ja I'm using Japanese, it'll be memory card a.jap, and I can delete that file. So now let me play it again, emulation, play recording. And this time it should sync. And see it uh, synced all the way through thanks to the settings I was using. So that's just a very general tutorial on how to load up Dolphin and uh, record and play short movies. So maybe I'll make another video going more in depth with save states and task input. But right now I think this is pretty good. So yeah, that's just a very basic tutorial for Dolphin, and hopefully it'll help someone. Thanks for watching.